say. Now the fifth and final thing that I wanted to talk about when it comes to stacking silver and gold and something that I've learned over the course of my five year stacking journey, half a decade in, was to build and be a part of something larger than myself. I'm gonna break this into two different ways. What I'm putting out versus what I'm pulling in. What I'm putting out, AKA, joining the precious metal community, this online silver and gold stacking world that we all live in right now. Many of you probably don't know this, but before I was making silver and gold videos, before I even was stacking, before I even knew that silver and gold were like a thing, I was making other types of videos. I was just making like, you know, daily videos about things that I was doing in my day-to-day -day life. Just, you know, just like vlogs, just filming whatever was going on that day. That's the style of video I was making first. When I started stacking silver and gold, that was just something that I was doing, so I made a video about it. That's just what I did that day, therefore I posted a video about it, and it did very, 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 very well. And I posted a couple more videos when I had first gotten started about silver and gold, and I had noticed that they were doing far better than most of my other videos. So it told me two things. Number one, I'm having more fun making silver and gold videos than I am making vlogs. And two, people are getting far more value out of the videos about silver and gold than they are the vlogs. So I moved away from vlogs and I focused a little bit more on silver and gold. And during my first year, I got a comment from somebody or, or, or maybe somebody said it during the live stream, I don't remember exactly, but they said, hey, can you go and open up a P.O. box? I wrote a letter and I wanna send it to you. So I said, sure, why not? That sounds pretty cool. You don't really get letters nowadays, but that would be pretty awesome. I'd love to get a letter. So I went and opened up my P.O. box, which I still have today, but I opened up the P.O. box so that I could receive letters. And the letter that I received said something along the lines of that they are a father or they are an uncle or they're a brother because this goes for a lot of different people a lot of people have said similar things to me but they said they have a son about my age that they've tried really hard to get into silver they're a good kid good person hard worker but for whatever reason it just doesn't click they don't care for the silver and the gold. So when it comes to stacking or when it comes to coins, they have more in common with me than they do with them. And it's cool to see a young person as excited, enthusiastic about something as simple as a little silver coin. And for whatever reason, that's why they gravitate towards my video. So I remember reading a letter about this and I was like, wow, that's, that's awesome. And like I said, I opened up the P.O. box so that I could begin receiving letters. And I started saying in my videos, I was like, hey, I got a P.O. box. I'll leave the information in the description in case you want to write me a letter. I never in a million years told anyone or asked anyone to send me any gifts by any means. I am not a good receiver of gifts. In fact, on my birthday, my family and my friends, they know that I have one rule, and that is to not wish me a happy birthday. In fact, please don't text me, don't call me, don't visit me, don't give me anything. We have 365 days a year. I just want one to be left alone. That's all I want for my birthday. Please don't give me anything. Don't even say anything to me. You know, I, I say in the most respectful way possible, but please just pretend my birthday doesn't exist. And I say something similar around Christmas time. Um, I was like, hey, I'll be there. I'll visit the family. Uh, but please don't give me any Christmas presents. I, I'll, I'll be around. I'll celebrate the holidays with everybody. I just don't want to be given anything. I have enough stuff as it is. There's nothing I need. There's nothing I want. Uh, all I want is to be given nothing. So I'm not a very good receiver of gifts. Therefore, why on God's green earth would I ask for somebody to give me a gift? I opened up the P.O. box for letters. But as soon as I opened up the P.O. box, people actually started sending me gifts. Now this put me in a very uncomfortable spot because I didn't expect for that to happen. But at the same time, it's also kind of rude to reject a gift. 
So I, I, I made unboxing videos and I, I expressed my gratitude, my appreciation. And, and people sent me all types of really cool stuff. Some people sent me some coins to help kickstart the stack. Some people sent me prepping supplies. Some people sent me first aid kits. Some people sent me fitness equipment. People have sent me all types of crazy stuff and, and it's been, it, it, it was humbling. It was overwhelming. I, I didn't expect that. So, you know, I, I know it's been years of doing this now, but once again, I appreciate that. But please, for the love of God, do not feel the need to send me anything. If you want to send me a letter, I'd appreciate that, but you don't have to send me any gifts. Uh, but attached to one of the gifts that I had received one time was a letter from, from another person. And this letter talked about how they appreciate that I keep my videos family friendly because they watch my videos with their son. Their son is five years old. And it's hard to get a five-year-old interested in coins. It's hard to get anybody of any age interested in coins, let alone a five-year-old. But for whatever reason, my excitement and enthusiasm has gotten the five-year-old excited and enthusiastic about coins. And now that father that wrote me the letter has something else in common with his son, thanks to my videos, according to the letter. And this told me one thing. This told me, wow. Like, I, I started thinking to myself, wow. I can help almost bring families together in a way. I mean, families are, you know, they're together in the first place, but if, if they can share a bond over something that I said in a video, or if now, you know, there, there's a father and son activity because of my video, like that's what it's all about. That's awesome right there. I didn't realize, you know, like, this is coming from the perspective of Mikey DYDSS. I'm the guy that made a parody rap song referring to myself as the white SOB in the black SUV. I didn't think that I was really contributing anything to the world <laughs> in my videos, but as soon as I started receiving letters from people, like I'm talking pages upon pages upon pages, handwritten letters, sometimes typed out, it blew my mind. I was like, wow, I didn't know I was having, I didn't know I, w I was having any type of a positive impact. I, I gotta keep this going. I gotta keep these, I gotta keep running it up. So like I said, the fifth thing that I learned was about being a part of something and building something up larger than myself. And like I said, I wanted to break that up into two parts. What I'm putting out versus what I'm pulling in. I just explained the first part. What I'm putting out, the content that I produce, it might not be anything like Hollywood level. I'm not making movies over here. This isn't any high budget thing. I'm, I'm sitting on the friggin' ground right now with a couple coins out and, and my phone recording this on a little tripod plugged into a little battery pack because I got a notification saying that my, my phone's about to die. This isn't any high budget stuff. It doesn't take anything high budget to do what I do. But when I learned that I'm actually creating a positive impact, it changed the game for me. And it kind of aligned me with one of what I believe many purposes of mine. So I wanna keep doing what I do. I wanna, I wanna keep creating as much value as I possibly can, especially knowing that there's a father watching my videos with his son right now. This video, he's watching this video with his son. There's a father-son activity, a father-son bond going on because of my videos and, and, and you know, that, 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 that's more than enough for me to keep these things going. And God forbid anything were to happen to my YouTube channel, I'll pick up where I left off on another platform. So as I always say, please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. The handles are at MikeyDYDSS across all platforms. Follow me everywhere, because if something happens at this place, I'll go post my videos over there instead. So now the second part of the fifth thing, now that I talked about what I'm putting out into the world, I wanna talk about what I'm pulling into my world. Building something that's larger than myself.